Ahoy there, Elder Scrolls Legends fans. I'm Deadbroke Nerd, and I wanted to show you guys a retooling of my uh, cloak and daggerfall list. This is an item daggerfall. Uh, you'll recall up in the uh, cards, I'll have a link there to the previous guide that I did on the deck. I pretty much um, really worked on that deck and refined it. It's become kind of my signature staple homebrew list that uh, I know a lot of people have really enjoyed, found a lot of success with. Um, it does. It's something that I think a lot of people aren't really uh, prepared uh, to see. It also is pretty difficult to pilot and is a deck that, at least in, in my opinion, uh, it has a very different experience compared to a lot of other decks um so i did a recent uh stream where i played this it went really really well uh, i think i i don't know across like two streams where i played it it was something like like 12 and 3 something every really 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 did well um I did a slight retooling, and I don't want to go into a full deck guide. I'm not going to tell you how to play it like I did. I've already done that. Uh, but uh, I do want to tell you guys the changes I've made for to reflect kind of the current environment. Um, so I made the uh, switch. I cut the Dushnik Yawl Archers and added Earthbone Spinners. Um, the idea there was the Dushniks were there in the Namira Shrine meta. Uh, that is not needed really so much anymore. Um, so I've cut them in favor of the Earthbone Spinners because of all of the Daggerfall Mages, all of the... Um, Breton Conjurers, Mighty Conjurings, everything running around. All the blue, the blue meta has meant that silence is a little bit more uh, important. So now that actually brings the total silence count of this deck up to six. So that's pretty darn good. Um, it's been performing admirably. So a lot of times those other mid-range blue decks, you kind of want to go faster than them. Um, so this helps you remove guards and wards and stuff like that to help you do that. Um, I also made the change I cut. Um, both of the Covenant Oathmans, um, and what I've done in that slot uh, is I have added um, Mighty Conjurings. Um, so the Covenant Oathman was just a little too hard to pull off. Um, I liked it in there originally just because it was a really cool, fun card. It could potentially get you a big wombo combo with Cloak and Dagger, but it's not so much necessary anymore. So what I've done is gone ahead and put Mighty Conjurings in just to get a little bit more chunk at the top end, uh, as well as some more defensive tools um, in the late game. Uh, it's just it's just Mighty Conjuring's very good, so we put two copies in. It's really easy to proc when you're playing items. Um, then finally, the other change I've made, I cut, and this one is experimental, uh, I'll, I'll let you know. Um, I cut Gatekeeper, and I cut one Cloak and Dagger, uh, and we put in two Discerning Thieves. I think this slot is super flexible. Like, I could see running um, Doomfang allies here. Um, I can see you guys running uh, maybe even like a... Um, Onde Clan uh, Sorcerer, anything like that, that could go in that slot as well. That's kind of a flex spot. You could even put Dushnix back in if you really want to kill Divine Fervors. So, like, this is a flex spot, but um, for right now, I several people were uh, really, you know, liking the idea of Discerning Thief. I don't think Discerning Thief is necessary to fuel Master of Arms. I'm, I'm pretty much uh, thinking, I mean... If this isn't Item Sorcerer, which is a combo list, which uses Dragon Priest Mask. This is a mid-range kind of value-generating list. Um, Master of Arms will get what he'll get, right? And it's 75 cards. You're not going to see him super often. By the time you usually can play him, you'll have already played one of the 18 items in the deck. Uh, but it's still uh, one of the best three drops in the game, in my opinion, so why not play it? You can filter your hand, make sure it's, you get things that you want. Uh, you also get through your deck faster to get to the things like, you know, you get your Merricks, you get you get to your answers faster. It's a great card. It's got a great defensive stat line, so we've put that in. Anyways, guys, I have some great uh, stream highlight videos uh, kind of showcasing this deck and some of the recent changes, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, one of the losses was to number 12, Legend. Didn't we literally just play this guy? Am I wrong? Am I, like, viewing this wrong? Can somebody check that for me? Didn't we just play Zorbath, or is that is that somebody else on Mage? Am I wrong about that? That would suck, you know? I mean, it probably sucks for me, but it's it's a different one? Okay. I thought it was something with a Z, which is why I was thinking it was it was the same guy, maybe. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, so we've got uh, Gardener, which is interesting. I don't, don't usually like getting him this early. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. um, I think I want to go, if I go Ebon Thread Field, I wonder what he's playing. I don't know if I want to, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to ring this out though. I 
I don't think I do. I don't think I want to use the ring here. Uh. Yes, ahoy there, Darth Sinus. Uh, blew that guy away. We can pretend the game before it didn't happen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, we we just beat we beat the guy, but it's just uh. I w I would hate for my opponent to have to play twice in a row against. Also, just playing the same guy twice in a row isn't fun. You know, mix it up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> God, I don't know. I don't actually know how I want to handle this thing. This Wily Kiva. It's such a hard creature to deal with early. Like, I could rapid shot it. And then Ebon Thread. But Ebon Thread's over here. It dies to, like, literally any buff. The only buff he could have probably is Resolute Ally. It's probably Resolute Ally deck if it's running Wily Kiva. I mean, if he plays Resolute Ally, it's probably worth the buff to kill the Ebon Thread, and then I'm up the creek without a device that would propel you forward through the water. I'm leaning towards the Harpy here. I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, want to look at my deck, uh, with what I got to rank Legends? Yeah, sure, dude. Feel free to link it. I probably won't play it today, but I'd happy to be happy to look at it. He already hit Legend, huh? By the fires of I know you did a huge charity stream. I saw that. Hmm... So I could rapid shot Ebon Thread trade and I wouldn't die, but then it would die to the dagger fall. I could also do the same thing here, but then the Wily Kiva would go. I guess I'd prefer to leave Wily Kiva up. This does give my opponent a tome. This hand is garbage. Like this hand really sucks right now. Like I could I could mace. I could also just like Gardner and hope he doesn't have an answer. I could like go Gardner and then on the following turn go like Crucible, Evan Thread. Maybe I just want to play Crucible just so I can pull. Like just so I can pull or put a, have a creature to put down before playing Gardner. Oh, this hand is so rough. Like, fighting field, I have to put, like, double resources in just to kill anything. So now we're looking at Gardner, Ebon Thread, and trying to go into a race scenario. We do have the Mace, so that that's actually somewhat you consistent. Stay on the mark path. Okay. Time oh, swing for one. Doesn't matter. Um, can't believe I stayed high legend this month. I'll probably tank soon. I never, uh, I never stay. <laughs> uh, I just don't bother with. Uh, I, I let like like laddering. I don't. I don't really care about that much. Like, I'll do it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I like hitting top, uh, was it top thousand just so I can get the fancy, the primos. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a pain. Uh, but whatever. That was probably to be expected. Let me, uh, I'm going to check out this deck from Dutch. Put it into Legends. Uh-huh. Yeah, there we go. All right, what is this craziness? Didn't import. Ah, uh, you're on the Transmogrify as well, sir. I see. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Transmogrify myself. Are you using the Dragon Mound? That's fun. Yeah, I think I've gotten Transmogrify down to a formula, honestly. Honestly. 
Mm. I tend the sharpest looking lawn in these aisles. All right, so we're gonna go shackle, shackle, shackle. Three. Uh, I don't really want to hit a javelin here. Keep off the grass now. Uh, cause next turn I can like play both of these, but the I do have to race, don't I? Mm, if I hit a javelin at any point, I probably lose, right? Keep so I do want to. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So next turn I can play both of these, and it'll be fun. Uh, I don't know, man. I have seen uh, I have seen the javs flying every which way. I don't assume anything when it comes to javelins anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Rank eight and proud. Hey man, do what you gotta do. Yeah. Hmm. All right, how much am I losing here? Um. Berserker of the Pale, okay. Uh, four, six, seven, eight, nine, um, 12, 13, 14. That's not good. Don't want a Divine Fervor to come down, which means I need to do some clearing. Um, I think what I want to do is go for the Battle Mace. No, I want to go Plate Sword. Actually, I want to go Blacksmith Plate Sword. Actually, I can go blacksmith, plate, sword, battle mace. Mm, I suppose I could have killed that with the other thing, but then this lane wouldn't be clear, so. I think that's the right play. I don't think going the battle mace route was going to work. I think now I actually threaten lethal next turn, right? 10, 12, plus uh, 8, uh, 20. Well, not quite, but if I draw another item, then I would. Look at all those mud crabs. Careful there, friend. Crafter. Okay. Oh. Speak of the dagger fall. The grass. Keep off the grass. This is a worthy contest. Yep, GG. Played Oberon click just yet, number 32. Well, when you're those high hidden MMR players like me and Hockle, you play legends while you're still at rank three. <laughs> Cause that makes a lot of sense. I think hidden MMR is dumb. I think you should just only play people at your level, you know? And then you just climb. And then bam. I actually don't know enough about why Hidden MMR exists to, uh, just to refute it. What is this crap, dude? Okay, I happen to, what the hell? I gotta play Flow now, this is a Master Series dude here. What the hell is this crap? God dang it. Do we think he's on control? I think so. It's Guild Sworn. Welcome, friend. Welcome, Maybe he's on mid Guild Sworn. I'm just saying, man. This is a messed up MMR shit. Do I bring out the blacksmith? I don't think I do. 
Oh, I don't think it's an, I don't think it's not doable. I think it's BS because here's the thing. It's BS for a couple reasons. One, I have to I'm rank three and I have to play one of the best players in the world. Not saying I can't beat him. I mean I've beaten I've beaten Thuldir before. Once. Okay. You know? I've beat I've taken games off of Super Thanks. The thing is, it's just simply that like if I win, great. But really I shouldn't be put in this position. Um, and what's worse is for Flo, if he loses to me, he's his 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 uh, score tanks, you know. Um, so we're gonna Galen. I will keep Sotha Sil's people alive. That's true. Hockle has beaten me. That means he's better than Flo and Thuldir, who I have beaten at one point. <laughs> Right, that's how logic works. Speak, it's a golden initiate. Seems good, man. Um, I could Crucible Blacksmith and go grab the buffed up Enchanted Plate. That would be kind of funny. I could also just Lightning Bolt this. Hmm. What do I want to do here? That would be like a 6-9, but of course, I think it gets removed by like a Fell or something. Uh, let's put the Crucible Blacksmith over here. We will go ahead and grab the buffed up uh, Enchanted Plate. Um, and then I will also put this Enchanted Plate here. The Outlanders. Wow, I have a lot of Enchanted Plates right now. Holy crap. <laughs> All the freaking Enchanted Plates you could ever want. Uh, do you consider running a single salvage in the list, or do you think that's too greedy? I do think that's too greedy. Eat your Oreos. That's a crown quartermaster, though. That's odd. Um, he's running. He's, so he's running Sword of the Inferno and a crown quartermaster. So this is looking way more mid range or aggro. Um. Sniping DBN as we speak. <laughs> no, I, I don't believe that. I don't really think people snipe. Like I know people do, but like I guess I don't want to believe it. I don't know. So I think we're just gonna go like this. Repel the Outlanders. So like salvage is interesting, but I don't like. But like Master of Arms. Kind of does what Salvage does, but puts a body on the board and equips them for free. For like, I just don't know if I would want Salvage. Because, like, the point is to draw inordinate amounts of cards with, like, enchanted plates and shit. Like, that's the point. Uh, so we're going to fell. We're going to trade. And then we're going to plate. Uh. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Dutch? How you doing? Going to Value Town? <laughs> sure. Yeah. <laughs> the elements are mine to control. Yeah, boy. That's a sower with a sword. So it's mid. All right. We have a sword of our own. I think we're gonna plate. Do I want to pressure here? I've got a very good pressuring hand. I think I do. We've got double sower, battle mace, and a lightning bolt. I think I want to pressure. Uh, 
Oh, he's gonna Galen? Heck yeah. Oh my god, we've got the gardener. This is amazing. I will keep Sotha Sil's people alive. Your blood will spill! Uh, I should have attacked first, but it's alright. Dude, we've got freaking Gardener Tome. That's amazing. Alfiq. Ouch. Ouch town population. Me. Your blood will spill. Oof. Um. You can't stay on the mark path. Good dagger here, swing for seven. Repel the outlanders. Repel the outlanders. But I can dagger next turn. I will have your head. Push seven damage, takes them to thirteen. Uh, this is susceptible to bolt, so it's got to be the cloak, right? Ah, oh, no! Fortune favor me. Propel the Outlanders. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Lightning bolt. Well, at least we played around it, sort of. So what, by playing, I think we did the correct thing. So by playing Cloak, we put it out of uh, Lightning Bolt range and out of um, Fell range. But that Prophecy Lightning Bolt lost us the game. I'll get this yet. Like that Prophecy Lightning Bolt lost us the game straight up. Harpy. So we have to find this 13. I mean, I can kill that. I need to find a shackle. Oh, uh, oh well. Oh, I can actually drink my coffee now. I'm gonna need to go heat it up. Um, I mean, if he has an Ancano, it's just GG, right? Fortune favor me. Javelin? Conjurer. The light of the three. I suppose I should have put it over here. I do have a uh, mighty conjuring now. I should have put the Shrieking Harpy over here so I could go for the Merrick play. <clears throat> but I didn't. Um, let me think about this. I mean, Mighty Conjuring definitely seems like the correct play. Um, if he had a Javelin, would he have played the Javelin? Do I have lethal? That's what I have to check first. So, 
Battle Mace is 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 13. I do not have lethal. Why not Sower in Field and Shadow? Because, like, an item here tramples it, and then I die, right? I mean, I could. I could Sower. I could double Sower. Um, actually, I would probably double Sower over here. I would, I'd have to double Sower here. We're going to do this. Um, yes, it's Shackle next turn. I don't know. So maybe the double sower was the play. Maybe the double sower was the play. The double sower plays around Javelin. But I, my thought is that if he had a Javelin, he would have Javelined uh, the Word Crafter. So if he had two Javelins, he could have played both. And, like, knowing I'm playing items, like, if I had one more item in my hand, I would have won this turn. And I want to keep the spinner to remove a like a mighty conjuring of his um, that would deny me lethal. Like this. You are not worthy. Alright, GG. It has been my honor. Skull and pox. Boom! Nailed it! God, what a game. What a freaking game. That was scary as hell.